Hello Cancer, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We're getting ready for a timeless love reading for you that will be published the second week in September. Welcome. You will remember September. So let's see what the energy is at the bottom of the deck. Wow, Hierophant, Major Arcana for Taurus. All right. Nice. Look at this. You have some great energy coming in here. Nice. Okay. So the Hierophant can be, can be very much a traditional love relationship, uh, but very much headed in that direction. All right. You and your person in the recent past, mutually, the energy is. Ooh, manifestation. You drew the trump card of manifestation. Look at that. The Empress energy, the embodiment of life itself. It speaks volumes to how much you adore each other and love each other. The energy at the present time is that both of you need to heal and move forward in this relationship and you know leave troubled waters behind and move forward. That's Aquarius energy. So we have Taurus, Taurus, Aquarius, okay. Some enlightenment coming in here. Your person and how they view the relationship at the present time. They have remorse, regret. They're staying awake at night. They have a lot of difficult thoughts, Gemini energy. How they view you. They view you as sexy. You sexy, sexy leader. They see you as a person who has a lot of pride, who's very fiery, very sexy, very attractive. They, your person really sees the best in you, Cancer. They see you at your best. They feel very drawn to your light. How do they feel in their heart space? Ace of coins. I love the ace of coins here. They're opening their heart to really investing in this relationship. The ace of coins when paired with the three of cups can be the set of being engaged, but your person wants to make a substantial offer. They've thought about this for a long time. They have a great deal of clarity. They wish they had made the offer earlier. How do they see the relationship developing? Ooh, nice energy, eight of pentacles, Virgo energy. Let's get up and day to day work on this relationship. Let's get to know each other better. Let's hone our craft and our skills in this relationship. Let's learn to be the best that we can be. They trust you to also be a wonderful leader, but oof. Great. So what is hidden in the energy between the two of you? You are totally out of touch with each other emotionally. You are both really projecting a lot of fantasy on each other. Now, on a positive note, are you fantasizing about each other? Absolutely. But there's complete chaos and confusion here. If you make the wrong choice, it shows that both of you are very concerned and very worried about that but it does speak to the fact that you haven't yet really chosen your destination. Where is that boat going? I don't know. That's okay. Life is like that. It develops. Look at this. Knight of Swords energy. Spirit is say, saying to speak, speak. Run, forest, run to speak your truth. It is time. All right. We have... Your outcome, nine of cups, Pisces energy. So we have a lot of Gemini. There's Pisces energy here also. Pisces energy. That is wish fulfillment. That is the fairy godmother, fairy godfather of the zodiac, you know, in, ter in terms of the tarot. So let's go ahead and clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Cancer. This is a very, very nice reading. All right. So why do we have the Hierophant here? The Hierophant is belief systems. Often kind, times can be religion or the way we grew up and what we think is prim, prim and proper and the right way of doing things. Taurus energy, it does give stability when we have a philosophy that we stick to and believe in. So both of you are strong people in that way. The Ace of Coins, nice. Ace of Coins, Ace of Coins. Two of coins trying to figure out what to do with the coin and the actual offer. Okay, so offers offers coming in on both from both of you to the other. Okay, what do we have? The Empress here. What is this embodiment? You had everything together. All right, those flipped over. You may work together or you might have worked together. 
the truth is right now that you're both very much in love, but somehow along the way, the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor now, but it clearly, you had, you've closed out a cycle of being with each other. Somebody walked away. So that's in the recent past. I like the fact that I that the, the Six of Swords is clarifying the Six of Swords. I don't even know how that can happen. It's been happening all through the readings this week. I've done uh, three other readings earlier, Cancer, and this is, it's crazy good. The Six of Swords says that both of you are in the energy of moving out of chaos as individuals and now you're you're on the same page you're in the same place emotionally even if in separation because this is two people traveling alone right now right look at that the aries queen throwing caution to the winds jumping in both of you want to make love do a little dance Enjoy life, have time for yourselves, and look at that. Here we have, again, we have the Empress card. Really speaking to the fact that you both are one another's Empress. You're both the embodiment of what the other person feels they need, want, desire, the creation of true love. Why is the Nine of Swords, why is your person so worried? Why? <laughs> there we go. I don't know why I even have a table since I like to put the, pick up the cards from the floor so much. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have. Your person wants a reunion. They're very much in their heart space. They feel conflicted. There's a lot of ego here with this person. It does look like they were the one that put you in a situation where they walked away, you walked away, but they do feel that you are their best friend. And look at it again, another double. They want to work on it now and they want to balance things out and they want to be fair to you. They know they were not fair to you in the past. King of Swords. Why do we have this beautiful, excuse me, King of Wands. King of Wands, fiery, passionate, like the firefighter who rushes in to save the day. That's how they view you. Why is it here? Aw, the Five of Coins, you didn't rush in to save them. Oh, I like it. It does show, though, that they think that you're sad. Your person thinks that you're very strong, but that you don't really see the potential for yourself. That you're in a place that they feel you have. The thing that they feel you need to heal, because we have two healing cards here, they see you as needing to heal also. They feel as though you tend to be a little bit pessimistic and you underestimate what you're going to have in your life. Now, that's just a projection. They love you, though. This person is really, you love each other. Those empresses are pure love. Look at this. They feel as though you've given up on them, that you've released them, and their intuition is completely incorrect about that, or else you wouldn't be at the reading. All right, so they do see, Cancer, that's you in the reading. Um, Cancerian energy. They see you as a high priestess reversed. So I'm getting that they feel as though you need, you've made some choices, something that you shared with them in the past, information that you shared with this person about your love life indicates that they did not think that you had uh, at least one relationship wasn't a wise choice. Why is the Ace of Coins here? Why do they, what do they want to make an offer? They want, they're studying you. I would say, you know, they know what's in your refrigerator. They might be driving by your house. They want a new beginning. They're studying the situation. I like it. Ooh, strength card. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Okay, we had the strength card here. I think we had the strength card here. Let me see. It's hard to remember where all the cards are all the time, but okay, I'm just going to go from here. The strength card is here. You know what it means. It's really having the courage and conviction to come forward for a new beginning with you. I like it. The eight of coins energy. Sure. Get the cards off the floor again. The cards stick together a lot and then they fall out in a clump. All right, so they feel like a lightweight in love. They feel like they're not experienced. They have gotten out of their head, which is good. 
They definitely know the flow of equal give and take needs to be better. Oh good, they're coming in with very down to earth Capricorn energy. They're no longer confused and they just don't know if they bring enough to the table. The King of Pentacles reverse can mean somebody that sort of hoards their own money. So that could be an issue in sharing. Sometimes how we feel about money is, you know, it's Taurus energy of all that they value. Their values are a little bit, they haven't worked out their full value system in a healthy way yet. So that is something they're currently working on. What's hidden here between the two of you both fantasize about one another, the Ten of Cups. You both fantasize about happily ever after, introducing your person to your friends, getting acknowledged. Both of you are in emperor mode. You're both wanting to manifest. We have emperor and empress. Oh my gosh. So again, this could be another twin flame reading. We had one earlier for Gemini. I'm getting this energy that both of you really want each other. There we go, four of wands. There's a twin flame card as I spoke about it. Look at that happily ever after. Making the right choice is a key. Both of you are being very strategic. The emperor card is very strategic. And then the strategy is to win in love with that four of wands. What is it that you need to say to each other? Spirit is recommending. A spirit's recommending hold back. Because if you don't hold back right now, it's getting, Spirit is recommending that you stabilize the relationship, that you talk, but you need to hold back on saying negative things. Okay? So when you speak, be careful about how blunt you are. And be careful of what you say at the very beginning because you're coming back into alignment. So Spirit is saying, leave the thorny issues probably for a bit of time until you both feel stable and happy in the relationship. Your happiness, I love it. You're releasing yourselves to be happy again. Four of Cups says that you've been bored without each other. Again, look at that. This not, I can't believe how many cards are repeating. The Knight of Swords energy says that you're gonna rush in. Somebody walked away a while ago and both of you are rushing forward for your happiness. So let's look and see what your journey of love says for you, Cancer. For you specifically, what is your journey in love? What does Spirit have to tell you at this time about your journey? Shakti, you're learning a lot about boundaries and how to set them and how to have your passion within a safe place. Oh, your partner is learning to really love, to love deeply, to love themselves as well as you. So loving all that is, accepting all that is in love. Let's see what the High Priestess energy is or the advice of the High Priestess Oracle for each of you. So your High Priestess advice is opening your heart, deep connections and, and blessings, you know, water blessings. A little water ritual might be nice just to open up your heart space and to help open up your partner's heart space. Grateful optimism, joyful view of the future. Loving all that is about you, Cancer. That's what I see. Sending you love. Take care. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.